Hello everyone and welcome back again to my channel. This is Stella Secret Place. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you all how I got this yummy looking plantain porridge. This is what we call plantain porridge. This is made with unripe plantain. Yes, unripe plantain. That is what you guys are seeing. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys how I got to this point. You can see me adding some grains. And you all know that plantain is loaded with iron. And here am I adding additional nutrient, vegetable, spinach. You know what we get from spinach? It is when it is well prepared. Spinach is loaded with minerals. So as long as you don't overcook it, you will definitely get the nutrient from it. You are getting nutrient, iron from the unripe plantain, and at the same time, you are as well getting minerals from the vegetable. So guys, let me go ahead and show you guys how I got to this point. You see how yummy it is looking? Yes, it was yummy. It was delicious. Guys, thank you all for coming around to watch my videos. I really do appreciate every one of you, my new subscribers and my main family members. So over here, you see the unripe plantain that I used. This is the plantain that I used to prepare that delicious, yummy looking food that you guys are seeing. I have the plantain, I'm going to peel it. It is very difficult for me to peel unripe plantain. I don't know why. I always struggle with it. I know at times it makes your fingers to turn, rather your nails to turn, to change color. I think that is the iron that is really in the plantain. So I'm going to struggle to take off the bag before I start cooking it. This is very difficult for me to peel. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I really, really struggle with it. If the plantain was ripe, that would have been very very easy so you make sure you peel out everything so that you will not be chewing piece of it that is the second one that i'm peeling i am still struggling with it this time around I'm making different lines on it so that it can easily get off. But did it work? No, it didn't work. I'm still struggling with it. I don't know why it hurts my nails. Each time I finish peeling a unripe plantain, my nails are always hurting. I don't know if it happens to you guys. You can see how I am still struggling with it. I'm still struggling with the peeling of the plantain. Yes, I have finished peeling it. So this time I have to start cutting it into um, little bits, into little pieces. 
you cut it to the shape that you like. I think that was a, a quite a, a medium shape. You can make it smaller or you can make it bigger. At times when I'm uh, cooking plantain, like a plantain with a stew, I usually cut it bigger. But this, I am using this shape because I want to make it in a porridge form. And uh, when you finish cutting your plantain, it is good for you to soak it in water so that it will not change the color of the plantain. You can see that it's in the water as I quickly prepare the sauce that I'm going to use to prepare it. So the sauce is ready. Over there, I have my red bell pepper, my um, scotch bonnet and onion already blended and that is what you see in the pot with a little bit of chicken broth i have some chicken broth that i added to it so that makes the liquid that you are seeing i have to bring the the stock or the sauce to a boiling point so that i can easily add the plantain into it as they will all cook together that stock is seasoned already but at, i have to um, add the crayfish i like uh, the aroma that comes out from the uh, crayfish in a plantain so i have to mix it very well while i start distributing the peeled um, on ripe plantain into the pot. Here I added about a spoon and a half of um, palm oil into the pot. Palm oil, like as you guys know, has a lot of vitamin D. So I decided to add it to the plantain and more so we always cook with palm oil. We, that came from Africa, Nigeria, we are used to cooking with palm oil because palm oil is good for us. It has vitamin D and you know what vitamin D does? Vitamin D is good for our bones and for our eyes as well. So that is why I always use palm oil just to get the nutrients and eat so i am now adding my plantain into the the stock into the um the sauce that is already prepared i have to distribute everything into the pots so that they will all cook together Yes, I keep adding all the plantain and the pot and this time I have to turn it around make sure that everything blends together the plantain is well soaked or covered into the stock as I will now cover the pot so that it will start cooking but I have to add uh, a little bit of salt. I noticed that uh, as I tested it, the salt wasn't enough. So I just added a little bit of salt to um, the plantain. And that is uh, chicken bouillon. That is a spoon of chicken bouillon. have to give it a quick turn turn it around very well so that everything will combine together mm -hmm. 
so now I have to cover the pot and allow it to start cooking. You can see it is cooked. I can tell. Looking at it, you can tell that everything is cooked. You can even see some thick blended sauce. That will tell you that it is well cooked and the sauce has completely diffused into the plantain. So as you are eating the plantain, you are testing everything inside the sauce and the plantain. I have to try it and see if it is stuffed. You know that it's cooked when you break it apart and it is soft. That is a sign that it is cooked. Yes, I can tell because it doesn't take that much. Within 20 to 30 minutes, it is well cooked. So I have to cover it and allow the, the food to simmer. I have to allow it to simmer. At that point, the level of the heat has been reduced and the, the food has to simmer down. Yes, you can see it. The heat is reduced. This point is when I added the vegetables. The veg that I used is spinach. Um, one of these is frozen spinach. That is what I use. You see how green it is. That shows you that the nutrient is still intact. So as soon as I add it, I have to mix it around and quickly bring out the pot from the heat. I have to bring out the pot from the heat so that my vegetable will not be overcooked because my intention of adding this is to get the nutrient that um, spinach has. So that is why I have to bring it down as soon as it is turned and the grain everything is still in it. I don't like to eat overcooked vegetable because my intention is to get the nutrient in it. So I have to turn it around, make sure everything is combined. There you go. The plantain porridge is ready. You can see how green the vegetables are. You can see how delicious it is looking. Yummy, looking delicious. You are sure of your iron. You are sure of your minerals. So thank you guys for coming along with me and you have a blessed day.